Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave coming back with more reactions with an X today coming at you with Ruby. Uh, we are on volume 5, chapter 10, I believe. So next time we'll just do 11 and 12 and we'll finish off the season. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited for it. We're in the midst of really big stuff going on, headed towards that big you know, showdown over at Haven or Minstrel, whichever. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for it. Uh, I wanted to warn you guys that the camera might die in the middle of this one. I'm trying to get these filmed, and then I have the podcast after this, and that camera's just been acting up again. I should try to switch to the new one, but I have a feeling it's just the heat in here. I'm trying to get an air conditioner to cool down the room before we do recordings, but I'll figure it out in time. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. You guys are the best. Every like, comment, subscription means a lot to me. So if you really enjoy watching, feel free to hit it. You know, don't quit it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, old guy. Sorry about that. But yeah, if you enjoy it, hit those buttons. If you really enjoy it and want to show support, get access to early content as well as content that's not cut, no opacity stuff. Uh, check us out on Patreon in the link below. We've actually had that a while and we do music, gaming, comic stuff all kinds of things you can get early access to. Um, come chat with us in our Discord server that's down below. And as always, just stay awesome. You guys are the best. You know, I'm still working on the group name for the Patreon, but uh, we'll figure it out. We'll take a vote or something when we get a chance. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the early access stuff and the free content we send out every month. So let's get into this episode and hopefully uh, have a great time. Position myself correctly. The vast! No. <laughs> I'm paying too much to get these. Probably not. I mean. That's true. It's oh, a pretty, uh, he has a nice view of humanity. Granted, he's been around a while, so. I'm guessing that so that's what she got when she went and be paused. That's funny. What challenges? Besides the obvious ones. Oh no. Who was it? It was Leo. Said he had a breakthrough with the challenge. Think he might be able to get together a small raiding party for the band. He wants us to meet up at the school tomorrow night to go off the script. Oh, really? Oh, that's great! I'll go get the others. 
No. No, it's not. See, they're not dumb. Right? I still have questions for you. Tell the kids at least. Don't leave them in the dark. Jerks. You know, I never expected you to be the one to have the guts to declare honor. That makes me wonder. What does he have on you? I have him just the same reason you are. I'm afraid. Fear. Whatever you want, but you will hear it. You will hear it every day. I broke your heart. Yeah. I want you to know all the pain you'll never forget. You shouldn't. I don't know where I'll go from here. Man up. You did what you had to do to survive. There is no Yeah. Which, once again, to save other people, maybe, but to save yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Survival isn't all it's cracked up to be. Surviving and living. You ever heard that argument? Surviving versus living. I'm not saying survival is always a bad thing. I'm not condemning it every time, but that's like... There's very few hard lines where it's like, it's always okay to do whatever you have to do to survive. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? For example, I don't think you should eat your baby to survive in a storm. I just don't. Sorry, shoot me. Oh, man. Aren't you a soldier? Get out there and fight. Once again, why is she more badass than the soldiers? You chose. What are you arguing for? There we go. Come on. At least she was, like, paying attention and didn't actually trust her. Ooh. It also really doesn't work to hurt people. Get your way. Sorry to defend yourself always, but you become no different than... Gonna hurt her with her own mask. Said you might have to body her, man. I'm just saying. It'll be a tough day. Hashtag shots. Is that her eyes? Yeah. Can she see in the dark as a chameleon? Yay! She's growing! Sorry, Dad. Fire and ice? Ah, the plants. To light up the room. Come on. Okay, she's... Like, I understand her being able to uh, be... Uh, dark in the so she was going dark in there. I just didn't know if like she it was dark enough that they both couldn't see each other or light enough that she could see Blake and Blake just couldn't couldn't, couldn't see her because of her camouflage that I got but then also her eyes
attacking back and defending yourself, not always the same thing. The thing's frozen. Yep. Break it? Nope. I'm just gonna. It's true. Not always a good choice, but there is always another choice. Not kill your friend's family. You know, maybe. No! Distractions in the fight. Doesn't look like that was a killing blow for him. Oh, he can go fist to fist with him. That's skill. Where's the sun? There he is! I was- where the- was he for all that time? He probably got knocked into a ceiling or something. Huh. So is he good enough to beat her? Maybe? Well, her weapon's still messed up, so... That probably helps a bit. Oh, there it goes. It's good now. Uh-oh. She done for? No, look at that. I can't remember how to say his name. Guerra? Good. Good person. But I have a feeling he might go down under there. Ah, oh, son to the rescue. Maybe? Come on. Oh no. His fault. She didn't kill him. His fault. I want that to be clear. What a badass. Where is her, like, protective soldier? I was waiting for that. All right. So I'm happy she didn't have to body her friend. It looked for a second there like she might have gotten accidentally bodied, but... We, we all make mistakes and do bad things, but... Once again, if you're about to kill your friend's whole family, you might want to take a second and really reevaluate your life choices. I'm not saying maybe they're like psycho cannibal killers or something and you have to like save somebody. I don't know, but maybe just stop and like really like take a thought on it and be like, hey, I really probably shouldn't do this maybe. And if I should, why should I? Does it, do I have to? Probably don't. Choices, right? Death is a choice sometimes. You make it poor thing. So what now? Is 
Don't look away. Oh, she's gonna give a speech. Ooh, Mama Bear. Mama Bear! Cool uh, consistency with the wound on the back, by the way. I really like consistency and stuff like that. Because some places you would go and it'd be like, oh no, like, I don't remember that wound. He's good. So they're going to go to the school too. Aww. I don't know if you can right now, man. They're a little too close to the problem. A little too close to that brainwashy cult section of uh, reality. Might have to. Hi, forgiveness is fine. Blind trust always not, but you know, forgiveness is the logical thing, but not forgetting. There very much is. But in order to forgive, someone has to be willing to ask, you know what I mean, to be looking for forgiveness. You can't forgive people who are still doing bad things because they're, they're not looking for it. I mean, you can, but it's not going to do anything. For them. For you, could. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. You stabbed me. This is gonna be interesting. We got a lot of work to do. Huh. Cool, man. That was a really wholesome way for it to end. It also had some severity because obviously the guy, the Faunus, died or whatever. What's his name? They, they mentioned it. I just don't care about him much because he's a side character. Um, it was really good. There's a lot of good lessons in there. A lot of good growth from Blake and her friend. Um, there were some really cool animation consistencies. I really love it when they have like wounds and then you see them later because they haven't healed yet and uh it's like uh they call it it's it's the lack of movie mistakes is what they call them which is like little things of inconsistencies they put a briefcase on the back of a trunk and never show anyone pulling it off and the trunk drives off or and it's fine um but yeah thank you guys for you know watching and i uh i really hope you check us out next time we're gonna keep doing Ruby. We're almost through with season five. Then we've got season six and seven and a bunch of the side stuff like Ruby Chibi. And I mean, you guys can give more suggestions, but after that, I think we're pretty much caught up on Ruby. I don't know what else to watch. So, you know, we'll have to 
pick a new series to do in our daily stuff we've been doing anime and switching it up to do more anime stuff because i feel like people enjoy those more they watch those more uh there's more stuff we can do custom for our patrons and yeah I i'm excited for it i hope you guys are as well we're going to get into them later. Thanks for watching. As always, click the links below. Remember to support the original content on Crunchyroll. I can't believe I didn't say that today. Sorry, I'm just... After the fourth last night, it's been a crazy day. And I've been trying to get a bunch of recording in before my podcast. So, sorry again if, uh, you know, I forgot that. I apologize. Remember to support Rooster Teeth. And we'll catch you next time on Reactions with the next... Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do or just to rip us to shreds, Leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.